Hi, I'm Jade, and welcome to another video about my fashion books. So the first one that I'll show you is called Love Looks Knots with the Eyes. So this one is about the queen. What I would like to tell you is by Alexander McQueen, and it is, there comes a time in your life when you focus solely on what you believe is right, regardless of what everyone else is doing. I relate to this quote because I have been focused on what I am passionate about, and I'm sure you figured out by now that I am passionate about about different kinds of styles and fashion. And one other thing that I am passionate about is writing. So I'm going to show you a couple of other pages. Here is one of them. Here it is. And so I really like this one right here is because both of these pages right here and this one just looks really graceful. It looks beautiful. It's a behind the scenes from one of his runway shows. And the other one from this book is this last page right here is this one that's Sarah Burton. She is the creative director of McQueen right now. And so it just looks like she's putting on the finishing touches of the feather jacket that he had originally designed. And I like this in black and white because it shows more emotion to the photo. So this next one I'm going to show you, it's not a book, but it's a magazine of Lady Gaga. It's the Gagapedia. And here is the back. And so I'll show you the first page that I like. Here she is, right here. And so the quote that I like that's on this page, it goes, an artist is the only thing I want to be. I only want my freedom and creativity. So that's how I feel about wanting to pursue being a fashion influencer. And that's also how I feel about being an aspiring writer. So I want my creativity and I want my own freedom as a writer so that I could tell my story from my perspective. Here's the next photo that I'll show you from the magazine. So this is from the monster ball that she had performed in Paris. So I have actually seen Lady Gaga perform. I saw her first at the fame tour at the House of Blues in Boston. And then I saw her at the monster ball as well in Boston. And last year I actually saw her at Oka Park in San Francisco for her chromatica ball. And all three were amazing. It was just so much fun and I just really like her. She's a really great artist. And here is the next page that I'll show you. It's the last page of this magazine right here. And that's the quote and here she is. And the quote reads, my ambition was never to rule the world. It was to change the world. So this quote inspires me to change my own world, to change my own life, my myself as well, to become the person that I want to be, become the person that I aspire to be. So the next book I'll show you is called High Fructose. It's a fashion book on contemporary fashion. And here is the back of the book, which I find very interesting. So this first picture that I'll show you from the book is right here. It's the one where she is wearing a black and white outfit. And I don't really know what it is about it that makes it so edgy. Like maybe it's the shoes, the whole outfit, her hair, or like the makeup. But it looks so good. Or maybe it could be just the pose that she is in, but it looks amazing. And the designer is Elena Slivniak. So for this next one right here, the designer of these two outfits is Noah Raviv. And I really like these two outfits because it's different. It looks like it's future fashion. And it looks really cool, it looks really interesting. 
And it's, of course, it's not something that like, you would see every day at a street style, but it looks amazing. So this next book I'll show you is called Storyteller by Tim Walker. He tells stories through the fashion editorials that he's do that he has done. So I can show you one of the pages that I really like. Here it is. So I really like both of these are right here. Let me show it up close. So the one with the pink fireworks and the chandelier and the ceiling and the one that has the pink dress and the pink smoke they both look really beautiful but i feel like both evoke happiness it, ev it evokes joy as well and i feel like the one that has the smoke like right here this one with the pink smoke and the pink dress and the pink flowers there's something mythical about it so the next book i'll show you is called alexander mcqueen fashion visionary so I'll show you a couple of pages. Here are the two that I like. And so the reason I'm showing you these ones is because each outfit looks really different and it looks really beautiful for each one of them. And I love the rainbow colors on the feathers of this one. And this one has the black and it has pink and there's like lights in the background. And then the one in the middle has this metal thing like around her face but it still looks very interesting and it looks really cool and it's totally different it's unique and that's like what i really like about mcqueen and it just looks really amazing so this last book in the series that i'll show you is called inferno alexander mcqueen here is the cover so i'll show you one of the pages that i really like and so here is this one right here. And this is not like the one with the feathers that she has like over her head. Is because I like the, I like the behind the scenes photos because that's not something you usually see in the public eye. And I also like that's black and white because it evokes an emotion and with color it could it evoke emotion, but you can, you can see it better with the black and white photos. And so those are all of my fashion books. And so I tell you that on the back of the book, Alexander McQueen, like he had said, when I'm dead and gone, people will know the 21st century was started by Alexander McQueen. And that's the quote. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.